hope everyone's doing well. I just wanted to kind of make this quick video telling you guys a little bit more about myself since I recently hit 500 subscribers. So I figured that um, it's been a while since I've kind of talked a little bit about myself, who I am, and where I'm from. But basically, to start it off, my name is Joe Anklum. I am from Waukesha, Wisconsin, which is near Milwaukee, Wisconsin, about 20 minutes away, if you guys are familiar with that. And I currently train both for powerlifting as well as bodybuilding. And if you guys have seen my page or if you've seen my Instagram, you kind of know that my name is Anklum Athletics, and it's that for a reason, simply because I've always played sports through my whole life, and lifting, powerlifting, bodybuilding have only been a, a big part of my life for these last two years, about a year and nine months. And that is really the time where I've really focused in on lifting itself and the actual um, training aspect. Before these last year and nine months, like I said, my original goal was to play college football. I was going to play college football here um, for Division Three school in Wisconsin. Um, some things have happened, some health um, and family problems basically didn't allow me to do so and that kind of beat me up a little bit. Um, I was definitely really looking forward and had my whole senior year basically directed towards uh, that first year of college and that the, the years thereafter playing football. And that's what I thought I was going to be doing, had everything set in stone and when, when I kind of decided to, to go away from that, it, it was something that I wasn't very um, wasn't very comfortable with. This is something, like I said, I'd been planning to do for a whole year, my whole senior year. I'd planned, um, I had the school planned out. I actually had gone up there for the camp and everything. And with, like I said, the family issues going on and um, just a couple other things that um, my life was dealing with at the time, um, I wasn't able to continue playing. And like I said, guys, that was that was a huge part of my life, sports. And football especially was probably one of the most important things in my life besides my family and my friends. And really I didn't know what to do. Um, so being able to find the gym and just get back to training and actually enjoy the training itself um, was something that I was very, very happy with. Being that I played sports my whole life, I had always had goals set for myself and I had always trained simply because I knew it was getting me better for my sports, for track, for football, and that's why I trained. I didn't want to let my teammates down, I wanted to get better. And I actually didn't really enjoy the lifting itself. I enjoyed the satisfaction of knowing I was not letting my teammates down, I was there for them. But the lifting itself was not something I enjoyed. I really didn't know very much about nutrition, properly recovering, and I really didn't see very many results um, like I could have if I did know how to properly recover. So basically, with, with me not being able to play anymore and deciding to not play, um, because it really was my choice, uh, I, I was very, I was struggling, I didn't know what to do. So being able to find lifting, being able to find powerlifting, bodybuilding, I'm able to set goals like I once was with sports, I'm able to set goals for myself, set a bar and reach it, and um, I really needed something like that in my life. I'm the type of person, I'm very competitive, and being able to go lift every day, I'm basically competing with myself. And I think you're competing with yourself every day in life. You have good workouts, you have bad workouts. I posted on Instagram yesterday um, that not every workout's gonna be perfect and neither is every day of your life. So being able to overcome that adversity is something that you're really gonna benefit from. Those days you, um, you're not feeling like working out, uh, go to the gym. Those days are what's gonna really make you better and what are really gonna make you consistent at hitting your goals. So. The days you don't feel like going, the days you don't feel like getting up for school, the days you don't feel like studying, um, working, uh, those are really what's going to make you better. And I can't sit here and say that on those days I, I'm perfect either um, because that's definitely far from the truth. But you have to at least realize it and have that in your head so that when you are feeling like that, you can kind of talk to yourself a little bit and be your own coach. Like I said, you're having that battle with yourself, um, you're competing against yourself. So kind of fight those feelings away and just try to persevere, guys, because um, being able to stay consistent and um, even when, like I said, I, I wasn't feeling the best thinking that I wasn't going to play football ever again. I probably will never play football ever again. Um, but being able to kind of direct my mind in another place and not, not dwell so much on something so negative and uh, kind of turn that negative into more of a positive. Um, because guys, really, um, I've fallen in love with the art of powerlifting, the art of bodybuilding, and putting them together um, while still remaining athletic. Just to kind of put it in perspective for you guys, I have hit um, 1,080 total on um, my gym PRs. I've never competed in a powerlifting meet or bodybuilding show themselves, 
but I have um, hit a 405 squat before in the gym, 250 bench, and a 425 deadlift conventional. So if you guys want to go check those out, I have those all up on my channel as well as on my Instagram. Um, I've hit a 35 inch vertical jump, 61 inch box jump from a three step, and a 58 and a half inch standing box jump. So that just kind of shows you that you can look the way I look, lift heavy, um, and also stay athletic, still be able to um, jump with the best of them, still be able to go play a pickup game of basketball with your buds, and um, still be one of the most athletic, if not the most athletic person out on the floor. Sorry guys, my camera actually died, so hopefully you guys do enjoy the rest of this training session I'm going to leave you with. Please drop a like below as always if you did enjoy the video, and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Also share this video if you think it might be helpful for someone, might give them some motivation, or if they are looking for a max effort type push workout. I will leave the description of the workout, uh, I will leave the full workout listed in the description. So like I said guys, hopefully you enjoyed this. I will talk to you guys very soon. That's sick actually. Right? It's nice for me by myself. Hey, you can flip up the screen like that? That's why. Are we gonna do three of twelve again of everything? Yeah. Good shit.